guys, it's Tessa, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make dreadlock extensions made from hair extension wefts. I will be using human hair extensions. I find it's the best to create the most natural looking dreadlocks. And the great thing about using human hair is it can also be dyed into any colour you like. You will need some crochet needles or crochet hooks and I like to use the sizes 0.75 of a millimetre and a 1mm crochet hook. Now you will also need a fine tooth comb, I like to use a knit comb I find works best. And finally, you're also going to need some rubber bands. I like to use the rubber bands to section each part of the hair on the extension weft. It just makes the job a lot easier and also a lot neater, so you have each section of the dreadlock ready to install when you're finished. So, by the time you've finished watching this tutorial, this is what we're going to be left with. We're going to have a nice hair extension weft filled with dreadlocks. So, first things first, taking your weft of hair extensions, I'm going to separate each section of the hair using the rubber bands. And also you're going to need a couple safety pins. Just secure the top of the weft of the extension using some safety pins to hold it in place. So taking some rubber bands, I'm just going to take a section of the hair and tie in place with one of the rubber bands and continue this all the way along the weft. Now the thickness of the dreadlocks all depends on the amount of hair that you take for each section. So I don't want to have my dreads too thick but I don't want to have them too thin. So taking about a centimetre section of the hair and then tying in place with a rubber band. Once you've finished preparing your hair extension weft, you are ready to start making the dreadlocks. It is super super easy guys. Also, baby sushi says hello. Hello! Right, so now you have a clean workstation and you're all ready to start making the dreads. You're going to start off with your knit comb. So taking your fine tooth comb, take the first section that you parted from the extensions and you want to just start back combing. So you want to make sure that your back combing is consistent all the way down the hair, making sure there isn't any bumps or lumps in the hair extensions and the back combing has left the hair nice and taut so it almost stands up on its own but still has some flexibility. The next stage is to crochet. So the very final process of these dreads is you're going to just take all those loose fine hairs that are sticking out making it all fluffy and you're going to take your crochet needle and you're going to crochet them back inside the dreadlock. So the secret to the perfect dread is all in the back combing. Your dread look should be that right texture, it shouldn't be too hard or too soft. So I like to do this technique with the crochet needle about three or four times going back through the dread look. If I see any soft bits or soft patches in the dread, I do like to go back in with a thin tooth comb. One final tip for you guys, when you use a crochet hook on your dreadlocks, if you find any loose parts within the dread that is quite flimsy and you didn't back comb so well, you can always put the crochet needle in the dreadlock and move it sideways, backwards and forwards a few times. 
It's a great way to tighten up the dreadlock, especially if you've missed out with the back combing. So just using the crochet needle, just putting it in the dread, moving it backwards and forwards, and that will help tighten the locks. Just making sure all those little hairs are all tucked in and it's got a nice texture. So they should look something like this. So now they are ready to be installed into your hair. And that's pretty much it guys, that's how I've been making my dreadlock extensions. It's a super quick and easy way of doing it. You can do it different ways, but I just find this is the way I like to do it. It's the way I prefer and the outcome is a very natural looking dreadlock. So there we go guys, that is how I make my dreadlock extensions out of human hair. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, I really do hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more and I will see you lovelies very soon. Bye guys!